What up, Team Hawk Gals? Today is the day. Right, it might take a couple days. We've talked about it. We are on two acres at this new place. We have this perfect spot for a backyard park. And if we get the proper amount of snow, we can send it at the crib all year long, avoid crowds, whatever we need to do, and just have the sickest little backyard session. I don't know, it's something that's just unique, special to us at Team Hawk House set up. Now I do have some gnarly resort rails, literally a flat bar with a little bit of an angle, a circle tube, which is like 400 pounds, and the most gnarly sea rail of all sea rails. And then we got two elbow corrugated. And we can't forget, sorry, I almost forgot, the, uh, the little guy, the tiny little cannon, little, this thing's just a little guy. But as you guys can tell, they're ugly, they're beat up. And like we could have a backyard park and with some ugly rails, like I don't think you guys would really care that much but we could also grind off this paint off whatever and make it look beautiful and make two huck house rails which could be really cool which then maybe one day could lead to these rails coming to a rail jam or i don't know and we're gonna make two huck house rails so we're going to grind all the paint off of these uh probably put new wood on and make them look beautiful again for this season uh and when i say we i mean cody it's cody's job he's nope. here to help I don't, so he'll do the majority of the grinding stuff. I'll come help. I'll come support him. Uh, whatever we need to do. But yeah, we're excited. We got a grinder. And we're going to just... I've never done this before. So we're going to take you guys on the journey. Let's figure out how to make ugly snowboard rails look beautiful. Ready to do this? Let's do it. We're going to start with the little rail too. So we don't get like half of one of those done. And then be like, I don't think it's really working. So we'll know if our technique's working with the tiny rail. And then we'll take it to the bigger rails. So, uh... Little rail first. This is our weapon of choice, by the way. It's a Craftsman grinder. We got a little bristle brush and uh, we're gonna see if this works. By the way, guys, this is Kaiser. This is Cody's dog. He loves Frisbees. Can I have it? Nope. Uh, we got power. Ready to go. Safety right. glasses. Look at the difference! Holy crap! I'm so excited. This backyard park's gonna be sick. Oh my, it's butter! And we won't paint the top of the rails. No. <laughs> the other thing about having a backyard park is cool because we're gonna get almost like tow rope, tow rope style. Well, we want to build a tow rope too, but we're gonna get tow rope laps, just lap after lap after lap, so we can come out and like, hey, today I want to learn a new trick. Learn a new trick because we have heavy, heavy rails, and then we go to the resort and we got them a lot, so we can just make cooler videos for you guys. I'm really excited. This is gonna be a game changer. Game changer. All right, Cody. Have fun. We'll do. I'm gonna go, go, I'm gonna go clean the house. Go take a nap. Yeah, I'm gonna go relax. Compared to this. I so it looks like Cody's flying through this rail, but actually it took forever to get this rail done because the grinder we had was battery powered and the battery would die in five minutes. So we had to go get a corded one, which is working way better. But these rails are like, oh, this rail is looking shiny. I'm excited and we're gonna paint it. Ooh, should I tell you the color yet? No, I'm gonna make you guys wait, keep watching. All right, so we got one rail, or Cody's got one rail, completely grinded down. Now we're on to the C. Guys, this is like legit, like. This thing is gnarly. Gnarly C, I mean. Can you see that? I mean, if you look, it's straight on. The end is over here. But we went ahead and bought new plywood. This stuff is pretty dirty, kind of cracky. It's been in the elements. We got some freshy. We're trying to do this right. We're trying to make these things look money. Plus Cody's bored. It's better than making stickers. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might need to go to Lowe's again. We ran into an issue where our wire wheel got too hot and just uh, filled Cody for a little prickles. So now we gotta decide how to get this paint off. If we use the grinder, we get this type of, uh, it gets the paint off, but then we get this kind of. Do you think, but you said with the wire wheel, you think that would just smooth it back out? So 
the C rail is kind of taking forever to grind down. And the reason being is that one, it's massive. And then two, look at how many different colors we have here. There's blue, green, yellow, red, black. There's white underneath. So you've got like six layers of paint to grind through. All right, so we got this thing all ground down uh, as close to bare metal as, as possible. We could probably do a little bit more, but this should be good enough. So now we're going to get some uh, mineral spirits, get this thing cleaned up, get all the dirt and grease off, and then she's ready for paint. You guys see this thing? Cody, dude. We assume this is going to be the rail that takes the longest. So let's go. Let's go. One of three. Who knew that this rail was black underneath? Or at least it looks black. And like that, I grinded these rails to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Cody put in, what, four days of grinding? It was like three. And boom. They're clean. They're ready. Get it, Kaiser. So we just got to wipe down all the shavings oh, oh. and everything. Tape them and start spraying them with some spray paint. Woo, guys. Cody's a beast. Two more to go. You need a hand with that one? All right, rails are taped. Now we paint. Alright guys, day 600 of this project, bad weather came in, we ended up snowboarding a bunch, it was super sick. But we gotta get this project done, it became like we were grinding it out, it was almost done, and then it just became a pain in our butt, so uh, here we are, still not done. Today, we gotta put uh, the stencils on though, we got the uh, boards all painted the way we wanted, and Cody's been putting mad work, but it's time to finish this guys, I'm sick of it not being finished. How well did our stencil work? Yeah, I was gonna say, so I can't put it straight on right now. All right, guys, it's not perfect. We definitely got a little bit of run in some spots, but we can touch that up. But uh, overall, it's so sick. I think it's really gonna hit once we attach it uh, to the feature. So now we're gonna flip this over and paint the other side. But we did something that we didn't show you guys. So this side is green, but this side we kept white. The reason why we kept it white was we were thinking if depending on what side you film the rail, it'll look like we have more rails in the backyard part. So one's like the white with green and then one's the green on green. And then you guys gotta comment too what's your favorite side of the rail because I wanna know that. So uh, let's get the stencil on this side now. And I think we did better on this side, but there's, there's no telling. Not bad some minor touch-ups like the ski pole. So we'll just get like a white paintbrush and you know, like kind of just make it look a little better. So this is seriously like a one step at a time kind of thing. So we got that stencil on, it's gonna sit there, it's gonna dry. We still gotta paint the white panels for the C-rail. We're only gonna put what we want on the inside, not the outside, because we should never see the back of the rail. So I'm thinking it's gonna say Team Hawk House, Evolution logo, keep evolving. So it's gonna have like a different logo on each part of the C. Pretty heavy. So while I go make the stencils, Cody's gonna clear, start clear coating the rails because we took this little guy out shredding and it got beat up super quick. So if we can do something just to help a little bit, 
Uh, I, I do know they're gonna get beat up and, and stuff. Even just getting them in where we wanna take them, they're gonna get beat up. We're gonna do our best. Oh, so nice. Uh, so clear. I'm sure you guys don't wanna watch much more of that. So, all right, let's go make some stencils. All right, so we got the keep evolving, the size that we want it. So then we're just gonna go to the cut. I get ready for the weirdest noise ever. <laughs> So while that's cutting, if you guys want to, you can snag Evolution stickers. They're all available, ready for you. We've been making tons of these stickers, getting ready for the season. Tons of cool colors. Anything you can think of, these stickers are all linked in the description. We even got ski ones for all the skiers out there. Beat the butt. Beat, beat the butt. All right, we got the sheets done. Time to go put them on. So since we put transfer tape on on this time, hopefully this process is smooth. Hopefully. Okay, so what I would recommend is don't pull that all the way off. I think we should go a little... Yeah, that works. All right, one down, two more to go. I want to give this a second to uh, dry. Ooh, baby. It'd be kind of hard to see, but this big tube that we've been using to kind of hold up the rails. First off, this one is like 300 pounds. It's so heavy, but it doesn't have wood underneath it. And thank God it doesn't, because they make it even heavier. But we want to throw a sticker on here too. So we got this um, reverse evolution sticker. We're thinking right in the center, throw, a, throw an evolution sticker. Do we want to grab the tape measure? So while we wait for their paint to dry, we're just gonna kind of pick up all the trash and kind of get this area. Because the uh, the RV needs to get back into her home. She's been chilling outside while we did this project this whole time. Team Huckhouse, guys, this is you. Oh, it's so sick. <laughs> I'm hyped. So that's one. Keep evolving. Just got a little bit of a touch up here. But, ooh. Yeah, this one basically came out perfect. Almost no touch-ups. Possibly just like right there. So the, the boards look sick, but they're not gonna look that sick until they're on the rail. So we need to move the rails out of position, push the RV back, put the boards on the rails, and then you guys get to see the final product. So let's get to it. So we put the boards in. I don't want. I don't want to show you guys them just yet. We gotta pull the tape off. We've been waiting to pull this tape off for a very long time too. So let's uh, let's do this. You want to do the honors, Cody? Yeah, kind of. Oh, well, Cody did grind them for like four days straight. You helping, dude? You gonna help me, Roman? Can you peel that? We got a whole team effort out here. We got boys, Cody and Bobby, peeling the, the tape off. Boys came to summer camp, by the way. He's the man. He just moved out here. Congrats, buddy. Thanks, man. All right, guys, before I show you the rails, I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant real, real quick. So first off, shout out to Cody, because he did do like 80, 90% of the work. Thanks. But uh, <laughs> that's why he's here, because I would never been able to do this. I would never been able to spend three days, four days grinding, painting, was like another two, three days painting. Yeah, several days painting. And then getting the wood ready. Like it was, it, this was like almost a full week worth of work. 40 hours easily put into these rails. Second, I would never be able to do this without the fun size crew. They are the guys that donated these rails to me. So thank you guys so much. The 12 flat foot rail has to stay, I think they said, keep it called the fun size rail. So that's the name of that rail. And I gotta say thank you to you guys because without you, I never would have had a dream of mine to own my own legit resort rails. These things, even when we get a resort, these could come to the resort because they are resort rails. Like we got them. They 
because of the channel, because of you guys. I had the finances to put hundreds of dollars into getting these things customized the way we wanted them. And I'm standing here looking at them. They're freaking gorgeous, guys. I cannot wait to flip this camera around and uh, show it to you. And obviously they're gonna look even better once they're buried in snow. And all right, enough talking. Smash like, subscribe if you're new to join the strongest ski and snowboard community on the internet. We're gonna start with the little rail first. <laughs> all right, this guy, obviously the little four foot kicker. Nothing special. We actually already shredded this one and beat it up. Uh, if you didn't see that video, you can check it out right here. Now we got the third, the 12 foot kind of up rail. The nice thing is we'll be able to put this on the pitch and turn it into a flat rail because there is a little bit of angle. That's the plan is to kind of have it flat and not a down rail. Super excited for this rail. But once again, we can do this and it's a different color. It's a magic rail. Now, the, once again, the other side's different. I do think the green with the white will look way better. So this rail will look like this, flat, like once it's on the pitch of the mountain. So super stoked on this rail. Big tube, little sticker. There we go. This thing is gonna be the learn tricks on, like learn on that, master on this. So you can start dialing your tricks in on this rail. It's a 13 foot tube, heavy, like 300 pounds. But once we dial this rail in, I mean, we get front boards on this, like 100 front boards, then we know our front boards are on lock. You know what I'm saying? So this rail is like, test your, your might, this thing, I'm so excited for this guy. And the last rail, the prettiest looking rail, the rail we probably ride the, left, the least amount because it's gonna be so gnarly because of the bend in this thing is absolutely insane. The C rail. Whoa, it's so sick. We got the Team Hawk House, that's you guys, the Evolution logo, and the Keep Evolving. Are you kidding me? How sick is this? Now we do got some bonus features. Two elbow kink corrugated. These will be thrown in the park as well. And this is the arsenal, guys. Four rails, two corrugated. And if you have legit, I, I, like literally only legit resort rails that you gotta get rid of, you don't want, let us know, because we don't mind adding more to the park. We just get Cody back on that grinder. <laughs> But uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's the rails. Comment down below which one's your favorite. And also with the uh, flat bar, which, which like the white side or the green side better? I want to know. Now we're going to celebrate a job well done with some burgers. Thank you to the boys for the help. You know what I'm saying? So stoked at how the rails turned out. Mm. With the asparagus. But with that, Timo, guys, thank you so much for creating rails with us over the last couple weeks. It was a long project. Just the, once again, the weather got cold, snow came in, and then we started snowboarding, so. But they're done now. We will lug them into the spot, and you guys will see all of that. I can't wait for you to see the backyard park. But with that, Timo, guys, thank you for building your with us today, and as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow with another video.